at the beginning of this year, we did a little series around being strong and courageous as we stepped into the year 2020. And little did we know the giants that we would be meeting in this year. At that time, you know, we were reading about Joshua and the command that God gave him to lead the people into a very uncertain future for them. One, by the way, which could only be secured by God. Just like ours. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, God tells Joshua, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Brothers, God is with you. And as people lean on you, no matter how much you may feel it's unfair, you may feel it's more than you can handle, remember God is with you. Don't panic on perceived demands and run. And by the way, even running to anger is running. This isn't a fight or flight situation with your family, with the people that you're working with, or you know any other people that you're interacting with. You know, in 1 Samuel, there was a time when David and his men came back to their village and found tragedy. Their children, their wives, their property, all of it had gone in a raid. In their grief and confusion, the men seemed to turn against their leader, even to blame him. And this must have been doubly hard for David, who had lost his own wives. You know, the Bible, says though about his response in first samuel chapter 30 verse 6 the second part it says but david found strength in the lord his god that's where you and i must turn keeping on going back to god for the strength that we need in our everyday you know the cries of need come at us sometimes we feel overwhelmed because we hear like it's you you can't solve, if you can't solve this, you're useless. And, 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 and those things, you know, they speak into us. But, but I want to ask us to do this, to listen with patience. Brothers, let's listen with patience. You don't always have to solve everything. Even though the pressure in this time is so high. One of the things that I discovered years back is that when my wife presents things that are hard, she isn't always looking for me to solve it. To be honest, many times it can feel like, like that's what she's desiring, but I found that what she truly wants is for me to join her in struggling with it, to agree with her that it's a tough problem and that it's disturbing her from the inside, and then to work together with her in finding that solution. And, and you know, this is, this is a time, this is a good time for us to work on building teamwork within the family. It's one of the good things about having so much extra time together as we walk together we can we can really build a team within a home there are two directions that that i've seen families go in this time some have gone downhill and that's mostly because they're not pausing they're not pausing to look up they're not pausing to listen now guys priests of the home pause and look up that's where you'll find strength you don't have to have an answer for everything. You don't have to have an answer for everything. On the other hand, other families, and I'm, I'm thankful that this is what I'm hearing from many, many people, that this has been a good time, a time for growth. The extra time has been a blessing. They've had the time to go into hard conversations. Some of the conversations they've never really gone through, and they've gone through them, and the easier ones, and they are getting deeper in their relationship. And truly, guys, no one can solve everything and it's necessary to accept that no one person can control everything no one but god and so we need to keep on looking to him he has to be at the center of of, of our focus of where our hearts are and so please let's not also ignore the call of god and the requirements of god how god wants us to serve 